The construction of the Jamestown Fishing Port Complex, expected to start in May this year, will be in three major phases. They include the dredging of the harbor basin and shipping channels and the construction of seawall and a breakwater. The administration, production and supporting facilities including a kindergarten, trading market, processing as well as commercial area will form the final phase of the construction. Song Bua Hong is the Chinese ambassador to Ghana. The signing ceremony will lead to more fruitful cooperation between China and Ghana will lead to the new chapters in our cooperation. China and Ghana, we have been to each other very important development partners. Last year, our economic and the trade cooperation has kept very strong momentum. And the bilateral trade between China and Ghana last year reached 6.67 billion US dollars, and it ranked six among the 54 African countries. Minister for Finance Ken Oforiata and Minister for Fisheries Elizabeth Afolikui promised to use the resources for the intended purpose. And on behalf of the government of Ghana, I wish to express a profound gratitude uh, to the government and the people of China for their support for Ghana's development drive. I also wish to assure you that the resources being provided will be judiciously employed for the purpose for which it is being provided. Thank you. We as a ministry has been able to uh, get the Chinese to do a feasibility and update the designs on the uh, fishing harbor. And we are seeing this day um, of the exchange of notes from uh, the Chinese embassy and the finance ministry. And we are so grateful that this fishing harbor will be constructed this year. Ghana and China also signed a bilateral agreement through which China is providing a grant of approximately 16 million US dollars for the implementation of projects, including phase two of the University of Health and Allied Sciences. The Chinese ambassador, whose tenure as ambassador comes to an end after four years, was given presents from Accra. This is Gabriel Ni Obodai Togwashon reporting for. Metro News.